presented by a grateful nation for distinguished service. This very ornate sword is a standout at the Kentucky Military History Museum. The story behind the Kentuckian who it was presented to now. Visitors to the Kentucky Historical Society, particularly to the Kentucky Military History Museum, will hear one of the fascinating stories of uh, Major General William O. Butler. Now, Butler served in the Kentucky Congress, and in, even in the U.S. Congress, but what he's probably most known for is his service and valor uh, at, in, during the War of 1812 and the Mexican War. Now, during the Mexican War, he served as second in command to Zachary Taylor, another famous Kentuckian. So, Butler is known for his service in the Battle of Monterey, uh, where he storms the city and street to street fighting ensues. Uh, Butler himself is even injured, but this is a great turning point uh, in, the, in the battle. Because of Butler's efforts during the war, the US Congress present him with this presentation sword. In fact, visitors coming to the Military History Museum will notice that in the, in the sword itself is engraved an eagle and storming of Monterey to recount his, his heroic efforts that happened during the battle. This is a beautiful sword. It's got this, this ornate hilt, it even has a ruby in it, um, very, very fine carvings in it. Uh, we also have equally as stunning is the scabbard that the sword goes into. They would then take that beautiful piece and place it in this deerskin leather before it would go into this fine walnut case. So Butler is born in Jessamine County. Uh, serves during the, during the Mexican War and the War of 1812, and like many people of his time, uses this popularity as a, as a veteran to run for political office. So his time in the Kentucky legislature and U.S. Congress uh, even is on the ticket for vice president, ironically running against his former commander-in-chief, General Zachary Taylor. This sword just stands out. We have beautiful and wonderful artifacts, but this is a gold presentation sword in a case. Uh, we're very lucky to have this at the Kentucky Historical Society. To learn more, visit us at history.ky.gov. From the Kentucky History Center and Museums in downtown Frankfort, I'm Doug High.